By our powers combined, the Lost Vikings unite. So, in this video, uh, I am using the Vikings all together in one lane. I don't typically ever play like that. I almost, pretty much always play the Vikings to, to soak every lane. Uh, but I want to try something different, and it just really worked out because on this map, there's only two lanes. So I brought all my dudes to the top. For the first talent, uh, I'm going to make Eric my, or not Eric, Balog. I'm going to make Balog my main dude. As usual, he's my main DPS. So for level one, I picked explosive attacks. He does a bit more damage to uh, to minions and all of that. So it adds up, especially when he starts attacking faster. Um, so we will see. Let's make this happen. I bring my dude to the top. My homie's going to bottom, and we're about to make this work. Vikings are a lot of fun, and they could be such a pain um, to go against it if the player's good, which I don't. I mean, I'm pretty. I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty good. All right, so we got Cassie up top. I'm gonna try to split my dude so her, she doesn't get that lightning soak stacks, if you will. I'm put Balog in the middle to get the AOE right down the middle line there. I dodge a blind, and I'm using my big dude. Oh, oh, get him, get him, charge! I'm using my big dude to try and um, soak the damage and keep her out of the way. So, so good stuff there. She did a little bit of damage, but you know, we deal with it. So she's weak. Two of my guys are weak, but um, Olaf starts to re uh, regen his health pretty well. I'm keeping two guys in the bushes, both as scouts, and so that Cassie doesn't see me. So she just used a charge. I'm going in. I'm going to slow her and hurt her a little bit and make her back up so I can continue to clear this mob and keep her pushed out. Now, I got to be careful uh, that someone from the bottom lane doesn't come and just finish off my, my dudes when they're weak, especially um, Baylock since he can't regenerate health. And I... Uh, as much as possible, I want to get the regen glows because of the Viking trait, which is, oh, stay alive, Baylog. So I hit the well, and all three of my guys start heal. Oh, Baylog was, I was my, my bad. I should have moved them. I was slow with it. So I lose my main deeps, losing fatty. Uh, but it's all right. We're still in it. Oh, and we get the assist. Tracer comes in and bang. Nice. Well done, Tracer. Thank you very much. All right, so anyway, yeah, I was talking about the Viking trait, which is Viking Horde. Every time you gather regen globe with a Viking, it permanently increases all health regeneration by 0.5 per second. Uh, so it's nice. That, and that's another re main reason I like to soak all lanes, because the more of those globes you get, the more you regenerate health, which is wonderful. All right, so for level four, uh, again, Balog is my main guy. Uh, so I'm going with Pain Don't Hurt. His basic attacks and splash damage heal for 20% of the damage dealt. Healing is doubled against heroes, so now he's got some much bigger sustain. Not much I could do here, so uh, I decided to open this up since our lane is pushed out pretty well. I'll let them come forward a little bit. I don't want to um, get too far out with the Vikings because they're very fragile, and some guy can pick me off, and I don't want that to happen, but I want that globe. Give me the globe. Nice. We got the samurai on the top lane. That's huge. I dodged a big ball from Li Ming. Oh, and I step in that, but oh, it's all right. The Viking hit him, so it's good. And we got a tower down. Good stuff there. I'm just hitting a little more. <clears throat> and then I'm going to back up. I'm, I'm doing a little more damage with Balog because his AoE and, and it cuts through. So I was trying to pick at uh, Cassia a little bit more. Objective is up. They, we just got a kill on Tyrael. Very nice. Oh, I love them globes. Love it. Cassia tried me. Dodged it. I slowed her. Oh, and she blinded me. So whatever. I, I got her. I got her pretty good. Took out some of her healths. Lee Ming's gonna keep on trying to hit me, and Balog or Olaf was like, let, let me get hit by the lasers. I like getting hit by lasers. So, keeping this lane so. Oh, and she's gonna bang, hit my face with the ball. Not fun. I'm, I'm, I'm still in a, in a decent position, though, because my guys are regening health, especially Balog with these attacks. She missed that one, and her health is not coming back. So we got this noise push here. I'm going to try to get a couple shots. Oh, oh, wow. All right, all right, you got that, you dicky. Takes down Eric, the weak one. So I'm like, all right, let me go here. And oh, level seven. So for level seven, again, Balog is my dude. So I'm going Balog to Fierce. His increases attack range by 2.5. While, and while he's near Olaf and Eric, he becomes inspired and his attack speed is increased by 50%. So, I mean, I usually pick this anyway, even when I soak, which isn't always ideal. Uh, but especially since I'm keeping all three together, it's going to help a lot because Balog is my main dude. And now when he's with the other Vikings, he's going to attack 50% faster. 
And when he's healing with every attack and he's doing more damage to um, minions, it, it definitely adds up. Ooh, nice dunk there. All right, so we're coming in. Let's see what we can make happen. I got Olaf leading the way. I'm trying to get the hands open. He backs up, so I'm going to back out of there because Tyrael chasing me. But I want to keep hands so weak. Oh, man. Yep, yep. We're going to get him. Oh, nice jump, but it's not going to be enough. I'm going to chase him way too far, but it's okay because we're going to kill him. I don't have the boost up. Oh, ow, ow. All right, get out of there, Eric. We're not letting this guy get away from us. Peace, sucker, peace. All right, worth it. Looks like one of our guys went down. Two of our guys. All right, two for two. And we're defending. What am I doing? What am I doing right now? Oh, they already got the shots off. So I'm like, let me let me take out this little samurai guy and get him on our squad real quick. He's he's huge on this map. Very, very beneficial and fairly easy to take down, really. Oh, geez. Oh, they're coming at me. I got to leave. That's my bad. But I think we do we turn things around here. I think so. Olaf's going to hit the healing wheel, which is awesome. Get my guys the healing. Yeah, we turn it around. Very nice. Go get him. So you get one kill. We're going to get two kills and we're going to get the samurai guy. Oh, thanks for finishing that off first, Tyrael. Oh, all right. She threw a ball at us, but it's all right. So we have a little bit of a level lead at this point, which is nice. Almost almost a full level. We're, we're getting there. So we should hit 10 before them. We're going to continue to clear this spot. I haven't really been paying attention to the bottom lane. Um, but looks like we're doing all right because we've got that, that level ahead of them. Gonna push with this here samurai guy. Oh, it looks like they're gonna try to defend it. Three guys up top. So I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna soak what I can and and try to try to do some damage. This is good. Three up top. Oh, four? Four up top? So our guys down bottom can hopefully do some work. Oh, it looks like we're trying to get their samurai guy. Can we get it? Can we get it? Hopefully. Should be we should have numbers down there. So I'm going to go at it with Asmodon and see he's going after Olaf, which is good because he overextend a little bit. I'm going to, oh, oh, he's going to try to dunk on me. No, he's so low. I want to get him. I want to get him, but it, it's all right. Um, all right. So he's got a backup, which is cool. Level 10, I always pick play again. Oh, he's so low. Come on. There it is. I don't know what that guy was thinking. I mean, he had no health. And I love that Balog, uh, his attack pierces through. So whether, whether the guy, oh, no. Whether he's trying to hide behind um, a wall, I can hit the wall and they'll still go through. All right. I'd like to think I saved our guy right there. That was all me. Oh, Eric, sorry. Just kidding. He would have gotten away anyway. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, worth it. So we, I lost two Vikings, but we killed another guy. And thanks to my new level 10, all my guys are back. Such a fun ultimate. So I'm just going to keep active and keep doing what I do. Get this vision thing here. Oh, nice. Kalthas with the Phoenix kill on Hanzo. So I'm going to keep... Look at, look at that AoE. Just melting these waves. It's, it's wonderful. And then people... Uh, people underestimate the Vikings when they try to fight them. Oh, I'm about to get wrecked here, but I want to take that out. But I don't I have my run. Oh, no. I'm going to lose one. Oh, but my dudes come from behind. Look at that. Right behind them. So I turn around, I slow him, I like Olaf's, ooh, no, okay, I'll lose Olaf too. Bummer, and I just use my, my ultimate. Um, but Olaf, when he charges someone and hits them for the first time, it slows him, uh, which is really beneficial, especially for the way I typically build my guys. Nice kill there. I got my weak guy here, so I decide, let me just get on the objective and start moving it while my, my dudes fight. There's really not much my little guy can do. He's perfect for the objective, though. So, um, looks like everyone's disengaging. I get to move this a little bit closer to our objective. Look, they'll probably be here soon, though, so I'm going to have to skedaddle. Yep. It's Cassie's on the way. Lee Ming. All right, I'm out of here. Let me get this healing globe, though. You can't hit me. Let me get that other healing globe, too. All right, I got Balog back. So, let's clear this wave real quick. Right? Come on, real quick. Olaf's back in action, too. Now we're going to get it. We're going we're gonna, to... Oh. We're going to kill everything first. And then we're going to get it. Let's go. Our guys are back. They're moving towards us. So I'm, I don't want to clump up together. So I'm com coming from the side to try to flank. But we push them back anyway. All right. Level 13 for this one. I like Nordic Attack Squad. While, while all three are near each other, their basic attacks deal bonus damage equal to 1.25 of the max health to enemy heroes. Now, I, I typically pick this for better or for worse. 
Um, even if we're not going against a, a really tanky team. Oh, Hanzo takes down Fatty. Um, because it adds up. One, two, three. That's th almost 4% health every every hit if you hit, hit with the Vikings. So it's, it's nice. It definitely adds up. And obviously, it, it works much better on tanky guys, beefier guys. Um, but whatever. I found, and this is not good, but I found that when I pick jump, I for always forget to use it. Now, jump is great if you remember to use it because it'll save you so many times. But I'm not that good, so whatever. Whatever. Oh, Cassie, what were you thinking? Nice stun and kill there. This guy just keeps dunking. But he's by himself, so he's got to back up or we're just going to eat him. Wow, well, I had another guy. What were you thinking, man? It was one on four, but it's cool. I like it. I like it. So now we got a, a very nice lead. Our top lane is getting a nice push, um, and we just got the objective. So very good. And we're like, you know what? Let's go for their samurai guy. He got numbers. A little risky right now because they're got. Oh, thanks, Li Ming. Because their last guy's gonna be up soon. But let's do this. Let's do it. Cassie, you back up. Oh, shit, the bouncing ball wrecks my Viking, so I send a couple out. Oh, oh, that was terrible. She got me. She got me. She got me good. But it's not. Oh, okay. You got, you got him good, too. But it's not. Oh, okay. All right. Maybe now it's over. All my Vikings are back. They won that one. But we'll be back. Oh, but we got the objective. We got the objective, so take that. Uh, and we're going to get this. And I'm terrible at this, too, because I always pick up these... These turrets and healing things and I forget to use them. I'm really awful with it. Do I remember in this game? I don't I don't know. Oh, but this guy fight him. He's by himself. Why, why, why am I running away? Oh, he's not by himself. That's why. I'm trying to bait him. And it's gonna work, because now they're by themselves. I charge him, we get the slow on Tyrael. He's done. Done for! But he's gonna blow up, so I gotta split up at least one of my guys. Alright, he only hit one. That's good. That's good. Again, Asma, what are you doing? So they're pushing bottom. And at this time, I'm like, let my guys do this while I... Oh, never mind. I thought I was going to get the boss. Oh. That was a good ultimate by their hand, so... It's all right. Didn't hurt much. We're going to get this samurai. But Cassia is taking out our bottom. We're about to get our 16s, which is pretty sweet. All right. So, for 16, I almost always like to get Executioner. And this is... um. Probably not a good thing, but no matter how I play, if I split lanes or stay together, I like Executioner. Uh, basic attacks deal 40%. Um, oh, sorry, attacking a hero that's slowed or rooted uh, does 30% additional damage. Um, and that's nice when all three of your guys are hitting him, especially Balog when he's going fast with his attack and it, doing an additional 30% each attack. It really adds up. Oh, the bouncing ball of death again. No, what am I doing? What am I doing? You got me, Cassia. Got me. But you're going to die for it. And my guys will be back soon in about four seconds. She's being a real pain. But we're back. And do I want to kill this turret? Yeah, because it looked at me funny. We got our samurai pushing now. Cat that's right behind. Ooh, nice. Tracer kill on Tyrael. So by our powers combined, I like seeing that little glowing ball orb thing around my guys. It makes me feel tough. Wrecking this right now. Took out the towers. Let me take out this well. And then as we're done, of course, still getting his dunk off. But we're going to wreck this top tower. Oh, nice kill on Li Ming. And I'm out of here. Uh, oh, the dunks. The dunks. All right. Again, lost two of my guys. But it's all right. And I just used my ult. They're chasing Keltas. Oh, I can't save him with my little guy. What am I doing? I'm going to shoot with my slingshot. That's what I'm going to do. That was a sick turnaround right there. See, I don't even remember. I, I feel like I, I did not use that turret and someone else picked it up when I died. So I really got to stop getting those things. Anyway, so it's just my little guy. I'll do the objective. My team can, can get that samurai thing again. Perfect, perfect. We got the numbers. Oh, Asmodon is low. Uh-oh. Eric's very swift. Uh oh, Keltas getting low. But the dunk misses. Nice engage uh, by our uh, Anub. Uh, one kill, two kill, and three kills. Look at that. Look at that. A thing of beauty. 
so we get the objective and we're gonna get this turret and this time I will not use it but my Vikings are back so I'll, I'll, I'll push out the top lane again the samurai goes down but I'm gonna clear this top lane pretty quickly I love how quickly Baylog just melts these guys, especially with the, the piercing damage and the speed and it's nice. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, so we're getting all the uh, the vision things. We're getting all the uh, the mercs, and I'm overextending here just because I want to kill this group. So I better get out soon because the enemy team is back. The Ming's there. I don't want to get flanked. What am I doing? Run, run, Vikings! Ah. Got dunked. I've been feeding Asmodon all all game. He, he's been nice with the dunks, but I also have been not nice about dodging them. So, the, oh come on, Olaf, you, you got to be better than that. Li Ming just keep on throwing these balls. So it looks like they're trying to defend up top. Our guys are coming from the bottom. Li Ming going crazy with her laser. All right, level twenty. So regardless of how I play these guys, I always I tend to pick Fury or the Storm. Basic attacks chain. Every, every five base attacks chains to, to um, non-hero enemies. It's crazy for the wave player. Oh no, Kael'thas goes down and Hanzo hops over. Um, so on uh, the balls, oh my gosh, the dunk. There's a lot going on here. I gotta I gotta chill out. Oh, Hanzo sends out his ult. It's, it's a nice positioning too, kind of. So I'm backing up, I'm backing up. Oh, but a new ball with the engage and then, um, oh. Fista with a sick ult that just kills their whole team. That is how we win the game, folks. Sick. But anyway, yeah, I was saying level 20 fear of the storm is great because I mean you can instantly clear lanes with Vikings. You just walk down and, and, and anything in your way gets rocked. Um so again, usually I play them separate in lanes to soak. Uh and, and I love it. But even when I don't play them like that, I, I still usually pick that because because I love clearing these waves. The siege damage is lovely. Um so that's how I play them. This, I, I mean, that's not typically how I play them. I should say. Normally, I soak all lanes, but I had fun trying it out with, with uniting the Vikings on one lane. Worked out well. We got the win, but it's, it's because my team played better than them, not because I played exceptional or anything. But I had fun with it. It was a nice, different change of pace. I did a lot of siege damage, which is good. I, my hero damage is decent, um, but I got a lot of XP. So it was a fun, fun game. Good win. Thanks for watching.